All right, I totally hosed this segment. This is that Norwalk Model 280, and right now we've been making almond butter. We're coming to the tail end. I would lift that, but I don't need the explosion. Right. Enough said. Take a look at that almond butter. It is rich. It is creamy. And these are almonds bought from uh, Whole Food Markets out of Marlton, New Jersey. They are dry roasted and unsalted. Here's Denise, patiently waiting for said nut butter. Look at that. I mean, you can see, look at that sheen, look at that oil sheen in there. That is nothing but almond oil. That's all it is. No high fructose corn syrup, no salt, no sugar, no refined anything. Perfectly great for you and your kids. As a matter of fact, if you're feeling a little bit, uh, you know, peckish, got the munchies or something, heck, you can just go into the fridge, pop the lid on this, take a spoonful of it, and I'll tell you what, it'll curb a little bit of the appetite. Now, that's one's a cashew butter. But our cleanup really then only consists of the, the feeder tube, the grate, the pusher, See, look, here's what it looks like. Ooh, she's a little on the Ooh, that's warm. Mm -hmm. mm. Remember, that's number one great. So we made this as smooth as possible. Another thing, don't ever push down on the pusher. You don't need to. You know, all it does is warm up the blade too much and it makes the grate even hotter. Still pretty tasty. Look at that. Ooh, butter burger. Like. Look. I mean, you can't even get peanut butter in a store to do that. Since we started doing this, my ideas of like Jif and Skippy, they're just crap in a jar. That's all they are. They're no good for your kids. They turn them into obese, you know, well, morons because they're so loaded with chemicals and stuff. Uh-oh, I just got the look because I said morons. Well, I mean, hey, you guys go to the stores and stuff. You see some of these kids. I think they'd be a lot better people if they started eating some stuff like this. You know, you'd give them a peanut butter sandwich like this, man, this stuff will fill you right up. But, I mean, look at that. Look at that jar of almond butter. Go to an Amish market and find out how, that, how much that little jar will cost you. I mean, what did that cost us, Denise? What did that cost us? Five dollars and money to time for Five dollars and ninety-eight cents. Brought to you by uh, Scooter's Tram Shop. Finished product. Nice. Look at that. And you can set it in the fridge, and it's good to go. <laughs> oh, look at that! It's my daughter hiding back there. Ah, look at. Ah. So I will be uploading this. Just remember, this is the Norwalk Juicer and Press Model 280. Brand new, fresh off the presses. Oh, Did you get paid it, for this, Chuck? What's that? So are you getting paid for this? No. <coughs> it's just... a lot of marketing. Well, it's because somebody wrote on a... They were talking about doing nut butter on the uh, Facebook page for uh, Norwalk. And they were saying they were having a hard time with it. You know, maybe they were getting some bad nuts and stuff. But somebody in particular wrote that it's a huge mess and they'd never do it again. And it's like, this mess is way less than when we're just actually juicing. And I, we are all here, people pressed for time. And we find out we have less of a mess to clean up here than when we're using our other juicers. Like that old dinosaur back there. Cashew butter. Cashew butter. How much of it, how much in a store do you think you would pay for a jar of that? If they even well, make it. Find it first. Yeah, you'd have to go someplace with some class. Try this, Tim. Yeah, give that a try. That's that cashew butter. We'll get a taste test from somebody that's just a chick off the street. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, oh thumbs up. That's okay, you can go to work that way. And it's wise to invest in mason jars to keep the stuff in. She is very correct about that. Mason jars are important. Use seals and lids, or even get those plastic reusable lids, like this one right here. 
especially if you're doing like butters and stuff like that. It really comes in handy. So this ends the uh, Norwalk video segment. I'll be uploading this shortly. And uh, you guys all want a gratuitous view of Brian once again? Hold on. Brian! That is Brian. His dad was English Bulldog. His mom, Brittany Spaniel. And a love that was never meant to be. Also known as Biney, an Enigma dog. An asshole dog. Hey, hey, what, did, you, did you say asshole dog? <laughs> See, look at that little Biney. Okay. There you go, it's your nut butters. All right, that's the end of this segment. I'll upload it and we'll see whether anybody even watches this. Have a great day.